The South Korean government will speak about the ongoing health care crisis this afternoon for the first time in 10 days. The junior doctor's mass walkout and professor's collective resignations have caused a health care crisis in the country. Our Kim jong sil starts us off. The government is speaking on the issue of the ongoing health care crisis for the first time since last week's general election. The meeting on Friday will be organized by the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters and chaired by the Prime Minister's office. Likely to be discussed is the Presidential Health Care Reform Task Force. This social consultation has been set up to discuss the remaining challenges for the reform. The Presidential Office said the task force could be launched as early as next week. It will have around 20 members, including health ministry officials, groups of doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and patients. On Thursday, Health Minister Cho Gyu Hong said that health care reform is a necessary task to protect the lives of the people, re emphasizing the government's unwavering intention to complete the reform. The government is also speeding up its process to legalize physician assistant nurses amid fierce opposition from doctors. Meanwhile, school presidents from six universities proposed accepting only half of the government's quota increase for next year. If the government accepts, the medical student quota would be increased by 1,000 places rather than the government's target of 2,000 extra spots. It's been exactly two months since junior doctors nationwide started to submit collective resignations opposing the government's plan to increase the medical student quota by 2,000 next year. Kim Jong-sil. Arirang News.